Everyday tasks are a struggle for Maureen. Her care workers are supposed to prepare her meals and feed her, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes they get halfway through a meal and that's it. They, they run out of time and they have to go because they've got to go to the next person. When the carers aren't there, her 10-year-old grandson helps out. He's learned to use her hoist and occasions has had to help empty her catheter bag. Maureen gets around five hours of care a day, but she wants extra help and is prepared to pay for it herself. Well, if I sell the house, then that's it, I've got the money, and then I can choose what care I want and what care I need. I can have it for as long as I like. I mean, that would be absolutely marvellous. By selling her two-bedroom bungalow, Maureen plans to downsize and move into a one-bedroom flat near Eastleys town centre. The money she'll make will be about £20,000, which she'll hope will pay for some of her care. But when private care costs between £10 and £19 an hour, that £20,000 will quickly disappear. What we would want to do is ensure that people can make an informed decision about what all the options might be. It may be that they don't need to sell their home at this time. When they are in crisis, obviously people will help, but that's not a good time to make a decision if it's going to affect your long-term future. Hampshire County Council say decisions about how much care people get are always based on need and not money. Mrs Hadley's support services are currently under review to ensure they meet her changing needs. We are working closely with Mrs Hadley, other agencies and her family as part of this process.